Welcome to Botox Pod. It is the conversation that fills the culture and not the face. I am your host, Chloe, formerly known as Bill. And today we have a very special guest, y'all. Somebody that I just newly found out actually about, but is becoming one of my favorite artists. Everybody, please give it up for this that ABM Carnegie. That's me. <laughs> Fuck this yeah. <nigga>. Down. <laughs> How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Great. How Wonderful. Y'all Wonderful. Feeling? How you feeling? Great, brother. Great. Just good vibes, good energy. I just want to kick it off with like real easy, smooth, and then we're gonna transition into some more personal questions. We're gonna work our way through this. Sound great? I got you. All right, let's go. So just start off with uh, where you from? I'm from Fairfield. My folks don't like to say when I say one place, but I'm from here. Well, I'm okay. from the whole entire Fairfield County, you feel me? Born and raised. I ain't been nowhere else. I don't know nothing else. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what was your like first introduction into like music? Period. Like whether you wanna do it or not. Start from the beginning or like your earliest memory. Like what was Carnegie's first push? I always liked music. My mom can tell you all the story better than me. Okay. Um, shit. I always liked music. You you can catch me rapping either Lil Wayne, T Pain, or Akon when I'm three walking around holding my glass. <laughs> you feel me? I always like music, but I ain't start. I always been shy making music, but I always liked it. You feel me? I, I can break down the whole lyric to you at a young ass age. I know what they meant. I know what this bar meant and all that shit. But I start taking it serious. I was like 15. That's when I'm shooting videos, coming out my shell. And letting these fucking folks know what the fuck going on. Are you feel me? Because that's me. You should. That's that me. You should, man. That me. That you should. That me. So if it was somebody's like first time ever coming across one of your videos, right? What would be that song you would tell them go to to get a full like introduction of who you are? What would that like one song be or video? I have to say it's two. Okay. You too. I'm, 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 I'm like seven different people. Okay. Um, Carnit, Abion, Palm Trees. And Carney Abion, all oh, come on. And why them two? Pond Trees, that's me, more on the personal side of me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Letting y'all into my life and how I feel about what's been going on in the state. Okay. I ain't even talking about the entire state, you feel me? Because I ain't never been everywhere else. I'm talking about Fairfield, Met, or wherever else I'm comfortable with, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And y'all oh, come on. It's like that aggressive side of me. That's that, that's that, that's that dog, you feel me? That's that, that one. Yeah, that's that one. Get up. Yeah, that's yeah. him, that's him. Okay, okay. So what is it like uh, a typical day in your hometown since you like, you know, you express like where you from, you, that's something you wear proudly like. So what is like a typical day? Huh. Um, Cause. I'm from a very, very small town. So yeah, there, it there's, is. There's really nothing to do. <laughs> uh, you can catch a lot of folks, you know, at the gas station. <laughs> uh, a lot of folks hanging out at each other's houses. Really nothing to do. Uh, catch us at the basketball or the football games on a Friday. Okay, okay. Shit. Okay. Motherfucker work. So everything just real close-knit, you know, countryside. Mm-hmm. Everybody know everybody type. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel you know everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you... uh? feel pressured anytime like being from Fairfield you know like because in my opinion I feel like Fairfield really gained the buzz um Long live Vino. after hearing Vino yeah 18 Vino that was like my first introduction of just knowing what Fairfield was so. Long live Vino he opened the door and let them motherfuckers in you yeah. feel me he let everybody see what the hell going on For and real? it's up to us to continue that shit I'm gonna say that in every interview it's up to us to continue that shit. Yeah. He, uh, all of us got V knowing us, nigga. You from the same place. Hey, yeah. That's real. Okay. I don't feel pressure at all, shit. It's I know like, how to do it. I've been doing it for a minute, a long time. That's what I did with that lighter. It just feels natural now, huh? Hey, it's yeah. It's just like we coming off the cuffs with this shit because it's, I, I already got the formula. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm straight now. So I did hear, like, in a plethora of your songs, you know, you give homage to Vino and everything. I just want to ask you, like, are, you know, how you been doing? You you good? Oh, uh, man, that shit's Because, like, a lot of people don't 
really get to talk about. I mean, you know, I want you to be in a space where you're comfortable. You know, you want to speak on it. But it hurt the um, first few years. Yeah. For the group, we were starting to accept the shit. Yeah. Just, I ain't gonna say they're getting over it, but you just starting to accept it. Yeah. It's, it's life. I just wanted to briefly speak on that topic. You know, yeah. I want to respect the family and loved ones. You know, it's, yeah. it's still fresh. It's still fresh. Um, so I want to get into your infamous ad lib. Funny it out. <laughs> I try to say it like you every time. Like, bro, where did that come from? I don't know. I've been doing that. I don't know. I can't tell you. I think I was saying frau at first. Okay. And I think somebody had said to me, it sounds like you saying, fuck nigga, get down. And I just ran, ran with, it. with it. Yeah, yeah, I just ran with it. That's good. I just you ran with it. off this shit. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's my shit, though. Ain't nobody ever said it. And you just recently dropped the tape uh, September 8th. You feel me? Yeah. FNGD. Yeah. I know all platforms. Yes. Shit, I'm talking about, boy. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug what, it in. What that, that gel app is. I'm, listen, I'm going to tell you what's my favorite song off of. All right, I'm listening. Hungry. Hungry. Bro, what? All we right. bleed the same. <laughs> Feed the team. Like, fuck your song. Like, now, now you said we Come just hung on them. Yeah. Bro. She gave me Tiger Head. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got to too much. I got to too much. <laughs> I fuck with it. I fuck with it. It's out now on our platform. Yeah. So, what was your favorite one, like, out there? And, like, how was the process of making it? Like, My favorite song on there? Yeah. I got two favorite songs on there. It ain't gonna be two that y'all probably expect, but okay. I like I like W Y P. That stands for Why You Playing. Okay. For for folks that don't know, you mm-hmm, feel me? Mm-hmm. W Y P is Why You Playing, and I like Tech. Them two. Okay. I ain't mm-hmm. make them the same day, but yeah, I like them two. I like um that W Y P shit because it was different to me. You feel me? I did that little whoa whoa shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I was just. Wasn't it like it. seven songs on there? Yeah. Yeah, but why? Why only seven? Like, I felt uh, like the just, momentum just of it was like that's just the EP, a little episode. Okay, y'all okay. get the movie soon. I dropped okay. that take. That's me. Yeah, coming. Put it out there. This is it's coming out. I can't tell y'all when it's coming, but it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell y'all. When okay, it's okay, 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 okay. I respect that. I respect that. But hood, I fuck with that WIP and that take. Fuck with that take. Long live my boys, man. Long live my. They're my best friend. Tyon, you feel me? My, no my, my boy, my boy. So I noticed oh, that boy. you only had like one tape out, but you do a lot of singles, bro. Like a lot of singles, and all your singles come with a video. Yeah, yeah. Is that like intentional? Like got you to. want people to like see your words? Yeah, yeah. Like shit like hey, that? you gotta stay in their face. Yeah. You can't. I ain't spilling my recipe, man. I can't. I can't. I, mean, I can't. But I, mean, I just noticed the pattern. Like I really yeah, did my yeah. homework, and I was like really looking. I'm like, okay. I see the album. It, well, not the album, EP. Yeah. Because the album on the way. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, but you do the EP. It's seven songs. So, I'm like, okay, okay. It's enough. But, like, then I see the singles. I'm like, okay. That, make, gonna... you, that make you want more. Though, yeah. See, yeah. That's, that's whole, why I went to the singles. That's the whole point of the EP. That's going to make them. Yeah, what, a, what a rest at? Nigga, we about to leak your shit. Yeah. Nigga, wait till we going to go to the same studio you recorded at. And we're going to leak your shit. That's what I'm going to tell. I can't tell everybody what we record. Okay. It might get my session. <laughs> might take your whole uh, block. <laughs> hell, man. I'll be mad as hell, boy. I got to find you. So what was your favorite uh, music video that you got? How many you got so far for your singles? I got, you got Hungry. I got Personal. Uh-huh. I got Semen. I yeah, got Semen. Tech. I, I got okay. WIP. Okay. Got there. I got All Come On. And okay. I got Heart Cold. Yeah. I got Goddamn... Is it? I think that's it. Heart Code is your latest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just dropped that yeah. motherfucker. You on, feel on, me? On New Year's. Nico. Yeah. On New Year's. You feel me? Me and Nico to drop that motherfucker. Yeah. Out now. That, that, that banger. Heart Code, go peek it. Yeah. Out now on all platforms. All platforms? All platforms. Produced by Nico, baby. Man, the hottest producer in the state. Nico. Okay. Okay. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. So, but hey, I got why you, you I was about to ask, why you dropping on New Year's? Was you just like setting your intention for the New Year's? Like, yeah, this is how I'm coming, first day. We was, we was going to drop it on Christmas. It was going to be like a gift. Okay. You feel me? We okay. was going to drop it on Christmas. But um, I really forgot what the hell happened. I think Trey was like, nah, that's too early. Mm-hmm. Or I was like, nah, New Year's. I don't know, but shit, it just it started off right. Because I ain't stopped. 
It was just the first. What day it is now? Like, what, 18? 20, 20 21st. Uh, okay. Okay. We straight. Hey, you only 28 in for real. We straight. We you straight. don't want it to top of the... Ooh, okay. wait till they... Never mind. Okay. I ain't, I ain't gonna speak on it. I was about to ask you, is Nico, like, one of your favorite uh, producers to collab with? Because, like, you and Nico, like... Hey, yeah, yeah. bro, different, you feel me? You gonna catch a vibe with bro for a show. Yeah. You gonna catch a vibe with bro for a show. <laughs> is there anybody else that you work with personally, like, hand in hand? I fuck with like, Ricky. I fuck with my boy Troy. He ain't from the state. He ain't from the states, you feel me? Bro from overseas. Goddamn, I fuck with Philly. I fuck with goddamn, I fuck with Narrow J. If I ain't saying nobody name, I just can't think of y'all right now on top of my head. But them, hold on. They help you craft like. I'm so. Who ain't him? For a fact, Ricky, Philly, and um, Troy, mm -hmm. T. T, for a fact, T, Ricky. And fit. Man, them boy for a fact, them three, they gonna get the job done. I'm so they gonna send that shit and I'm gonna send that shit right back. You been working with them like since you jit or like heck. For a you fact, I've been working with Troy since twenty twenty. I've been working with Philly since twenty twenty. Okay. And I've been working with Ricky since last year. But the chemistry is there. Oh you man, boy, that's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying. You just man, you better get to know your producer. You better get to know your producer. Only four years and it's like that shit just feel it, it feel yeah. like it don't really have any any room any any spots to be like filled up. I don't know. It's just it's Before a that, complete song. Before that nigga would get shit out YouTube. Don't do that unless you ready to spend that money on. Yeah, it. yeah, that's true. <laughs> don't do that. That is true. Uh, so what what areas in your life have uh, early success like changed your mindset? Because like I would say. You you have a phenomenal buzz like around you like, and it ain't no luck like, you know what you're doing. So how has like, being in the limelight and being like a person from a small town like where you from, to like have that, have that juice, have know. that vibe. I don't want no. I'm still trying to. You feel me? Go. Hell yeah. I don't know. I'm still getting used to the shit. I ain't. I'm not really used to the feeling. Mm -hmm. I ain't really used to the feeling. Motherfucker be courting my songs and shit now. Mm -hmm. I just be looking at them like, how the hell you know that? But the whole time, I be forgetting like, damn, my dad just like, dropped that shit. Yeah, like, you're, okay. you're an actual thing. You're a brand. Yeah, that shit different. Yeah. It's different. It's it's weird. Yeah. Very weird. Because you got to separate the person from the brand. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, the people that's close to you, it's like. Like, that, that, just now, my mom, was, my mom was like, what you got? Like, what you about to do? What you got going on? I, I was like, I got an interview. She was like. What you got to interview? I'm like, let me just rephrase. I was like, Carnit got an interview. Yeah. Isn't I? Like, yeah, the artist, you feel me? They want to. They want to interview yeah, the brand. They ain't not, got no interview. Not, not your son, ma. They ain't about to go get no job. Yeah. No way, <laughs> <laughs> she thought you was about to go get yeah, a Yeah, this late. <laughs> what interview? What the hell you doing, boy? I'm <laughs> about to sell some dope. Oh, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> that no, it's so true. My mom used to say all the time when I was younger, bro, ain't nothing open past ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The legs in the Waffle House. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no cap. I don't room. know what interview that is. Yeah. So, what is the number one advice you would give to like a uh, upcoming artist or just a new artist in a small town, like trying to figure that shit out? What is the number one advice you would say to them? Um. Make sure your shit is quality. It's like sound great. You feel me? Go to a real studio. Get that, get your engineer to mix on that motherfucker. You feel me? Go into your box and tap that bitch. Get that bitch to sound like it's one of those shits on the radio. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, feel me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And don't quit. Just don't stop. Oh, and shoot quality. Everything got to be quality. You feel me? It got to be great. Got to be number one. Every video got to be hard in your life. Sure. You got to be in competition with yourself. You feel me? That's, that's it. That's one people miss a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, you got to try to beat yourself Beat real. yourself out. Because me, me personally, I listen to a song, but like, yeah, that shit hard. But damn, I have said that before. Mm -hmm. You get comfortable when you and don't like, try to beat yourself out. Well, right now, I'm in a, I'm in a, look, I'm in a brain fart. I'm, I ain't going to say I'm stuck, but I ain't. I'm, I'm trying to figure my shit out. Trying to get with like a writer's yeah, block or something? Yeah, but I don't write, you feel me? Or just coming up with ideas or something? Every time I get in the booth, I, I you know say what you something. Gonna do? 
You gotta change. You gotta change your environment. Just go on a vacation, a random vacation. Yeah, I be a, telling folks on bro. a random day, like just take a day trip somewhere. I need to do something to myself. I need to get my hair done. Or I'm gonna get my hair done. Put a studio in the car. Yeah. And just, oh, and junk just, that's different. And just record while somebody driving. That's different. That'll spark your creation. Did you random? I mean, y'all know how to set up a studio? Anybody? I mean. Oh man, okay, we about to do business. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that don't okay. Don't shoot quality, quality, and stay in competition with yourself. Don't quit. Okay. So, twenty twenty three, in my opinion, for you was visuals and singles. So, mm-hmm. what can we expect for this year? And what is the end goal for ABM Carnegie? The same thing, but even more. So, times ten. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot a video every month. Mm. Drop a video every month. Yeah, that boy did every month. Every month. Every month. All right. Every month. Right. So, is there anything else you want to say to our audience before you wrap this up? That's me coming. I ain't going to say when. Just stand on the lookout. If y'all want to win, y'all got to spam my manager comments. It's, um, Instagram is at Trigger Trey 2.0. Yes, I just gave the drop to everybody. <laughs> so, go spam his comments right now and ask for the tape, the drop. Drive. Right now. Right now. And, yeah, y'all just got the biggest in here with the biggest. You feel we doing big things. Until next time, thank y'all for tuning in to Botox. Peace. <laughs>
Real shit. I say, y'all boys, I'm straight, but <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. So they looking at me like, what the fuck? Like, bro. So you see this little, uh, I got a little cut right there at the mm -hmm, top. Mm -hmm. And my bone was sticking out on some weird man, boy. That, uh, so it's doing that. So I hear some like, some like, you ever, you ever left the water faucet on this? And you running? Yeah, yeah, so I heard. I heard that blood. I looked down, my blood was skiing mm -hmm. out. Man, the neighbor seen it. She was a retired nurse at the high school. So she was like, baby, come here. So man, I sit down on the porch. Jeez. She put my, uh, my arm in place and wrapped it up real tight. So I'm trying to do this with my hand. I'm doing this. My shit wasn't moving, so I started freaking out. Like, oh, <laughs> I ain't oh, feel it though. Yeah. I still ain't like, feeling my adrenaline running. I black out. I died on her porch. I kid y'all now. I swear to God, I didn't see shit. Only thing I did, I was hearing everything that was going on. I, my eyes were open, but I couldn't see nothing. I hear my granddaddy come across the corner. He had a purple van at the time. I hear, he pulled up fast as fuck by himself deep. Picked me up, put me in the back seat. My arm still wrapped. But I don't see nothing. I just know what's going on. Yeah. Man, we make it to Fairfield Hospital. Got down. I come back then. I'm trying to walk. You feel me? I come back then. He get to tell them folks like, yeah, my grandson broke his arm and anything y'all can do about that. The folks looked at me and said, there is nothing we can do about oh it. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> Bro, I am 15. I broke my arm for the first time. I broke anything for the first time in my life, boy. I'm, and boy, you just blacked out. Like, <laughs> nobody concerned? I thought I just died. Yeah. You feel me? I thought I died, so boom, he get the cussing at the lady like, fuck, fuck, shit, die, son, get in the car. We get in the car, so boom, we shoot down, 321, we get to Columbia Hospital. I, I forget the name of it. I forget the name of it. I don't want to lie. But we get to Columbia Hospital in 10 minutes. You bet that. I am in Winsboro, Fairfield, South Carolina. Columbia is exactly 27 minutes away. We make it in 10 minutes. Come man, what? Not plan. Man, Push emergency you. lights on, he pushing. We in a purple van. <laughs> <laughs> in a nigga, this is a van. Nigga, this is an origin story for nigga, me. Nigga, what? This is really a This is the story, very bro. first time I ever told this shit on any type of camera. They don't nobody know about my scar. This shit about to go down in history now. So boom, we get to the goddamn hot pill. I black back out. Boom. So I'm thinking like, alright, okay. I don't know what the fuck going on. He picked me up, me and him. This white lady like, okay, we're gonna have to take off his shirt. That's when I come back. Like, alright, because I had a Burberry shirt on. My daddy had just got it for me. 120. A hundred and twenty dollars shirt. I forget what the fuck he got. I'm in fifteen, nigga. I'm in high school wearing a bird bear shirt. I'm thinking like, yeah, nigga, design. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You feel me? Mm. So boom. They like, yeah, you gotta take your shirt off. So me, I'm like, all right, okay, I got a broke arm. My right arm's still good, so I didn't try to slip out the shirt, throw it off. She's like, no, 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 we have a procedure. This is how we have to do yeah. it. They bitch pull out the scissors yeah. that yeah. was shaped like an L. Mm -hmm. Went down by my stomach. I said, no, please don't cut my shirt. I'm about to cry. You know, my daddy come in then. He said, but he don't give a damn shit. My arm broke blood there. Well, I'm 15. I cried, y'all. Not because I'm in pain. Because this shit. white lady cut my fucking shirt. I've been so fucking mad. I'm talking about piss, like, I'm... <laughs> It still bother you to this day? Yeah, 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 man. I ain't had Burberry since, bro. And I haven't bought it, you feel me? I'm not buying Burberry for me. Yeah. I'm not buying it for me. I buy it for my daughter or my my mama or some shit like that. But I ain't buying it for myself. My dad bought that for me. That was a gift, you feel me? That shit was gone. Up. She fucked that up. Oh. Dang. I was trying. I thought I was the freshest nigga ever, boy. Come on, This shit on camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah.